Hello friends, in this lecture I am going to explain a familiar but an important topic in term of both exams and interview which is earthing and code of practice for earthing Indian standard 3043 oblique 1987. What information does code of practice IS 3043 provide us? Code of practice gives guidance on the method that may be adopted to earth an electrical system for the purpose of limiting potential of current carrying conductors and non-current carrying metals work associated with equipment. C. What are the factors influencing the choice of earth, earthen or earth system? First, service continuity. Second, multiple fault to ground. Third, arcing fault burn downs. 4th location of fault, 5th safety, 6th abnormal voltage hazards, 7 cost. What are the types of system earthing internationally and in practical applications? Internationally it is classified into 3 types, 1st TN system, 2nd TT system, 3rd IT system. But in practical application it is classified in as 1st TNS system, TNC system, TNCS system, TTNS system, TT system, and IT system. The alphabets used here are as follow T denotes earth, which comes from French word terry, N is neutral, S is separate, C is combined, I is isolated. What is equipment earthing? Earthing of those metal works and conductors which do not carry electric current is called equipment earthing and essential for protection of human being, animal and property electrical accident. What are the basic objective of equipment earthing? First, to ensure safety from electrical shock, voltages exposed to person in the area. Second, to provide current carrying capability advocate to accept the ground fault current perm permitted by the overcurrent protection system without creating a fire or explosion hazard. Third, to contribute to better performance of the electrical system. How we define earth, earth electrode and earth electrode resistance. First, earth. The conductive mass of the earth whose electric potential at any point is conventionally taken as zero earth electrode, a conductor or group of conductor in intimate contact with and providing an electrical connection to the earth. Earth electrode resistance. The resistance of a earth electrode to earth is called earth electrode resistance. Total earth resistance constitutes of the following. First, resistance of metal electrode. Second, contact resistance between metal electrode and earth. Third, resistance between electrode surface and infinite earth path. The first two factors are practically very small in value hence may be neglected. But the third factor is important which depend on moisture in the earth and the formation of the earth. Nature of earth is generally electrolytic and hence it greatly affected by its moisture and chemical compositions. What are the factors which influence the earth resistance? First, condition of soil. Second, temperature of soil, third size, depth and spacing of earth electrode, fourth moisture of soil, fifth material of conductor using for earthing, sixth quality of coal dust and charcoal used in the pit of earth electrode. Artificial treatment of earth or soil. It means how we can reduce the earth resistance by adding material in soil which are as follows. First, common salt. Second, calcium chloride. Third, sodium carbonate. Fourth, copper sulfate or blue victorious. Soft coke or salt and charcoal. There are different kinds of earth electrode. 
let's talk about the first type which is plate electron in case of resistance of the single plate exceeds the desired value of the earth resistance then two or more plates may be used generally the interval between the two plates is kept 2 meter from the size of the plate use this one is important 2 meter for the size of the plate used it is desired that total resistance of the earthing system should not be more than 20% of its value there are different size of plate used of different material first copper plate which is 60 cm into 60 cm into 3.15 mm thick second gi plate 60 cm into 60 cm into 6.3 mm thick third ci plate which is 60 cm into 60 cm into 12 mm thick second pipe or rod electrode to reduce the total resistance of the earthing many pipe or rods may be put in parallel as in parallel their combination resistance is reduced in inverse proportion in pipe earthing ci pipe may be also be used but in case of ci the dimension are to be 100 mm dia 2.5 meter to 3 meter length and 13 mm thickness third strip electrode strip electrode are used where resistance of earth is quite high such as hilly areas copper strip of 24 mm into 3 meter or 25 mm into 6 mm is used to connect all electrical equipment to the earth if many strips are used to reduce the earthing resistance then more strips are to be connected in parallel or to radiate from single point if they are spread in parallel the separation should be 2.4 meter and their combined resistance between the two strips should be less than 65% i will explain the further concept of earthing in my upcoming lecture thank you for your support don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel easy electrical engineering thank you